Hello senoritas and cowboys. Today we're going to be looking at two 4v4 maps and learning how to build a door that you cannot walk through, along with an assortment of other things. So let's go. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah. This first 4v4 map is Indigo by Paints420. It's a very solid, room-based asymmetrical map. It starts off with this nice encounter in this middle room where you'll find the grenade launcher. Both teams tend to rush this room and uh, have a pretty cool fight here in the beginning. Up on this sort of bridge, you'll find the grenade launcher with a health pack under it below. Going into blue spawn, you find a accompanying the grenade launcher, a plasma launcher. Now other power weapons are the sniper and the active camo, which I guess isn't, isn't a power weapon, it's power up. But nonetheless, it can be very advantageous to the person who grabs it. As you can see, this map is very pleasing to the eye. You'll see camo spawns there by the Covenant Crate, where that Covenant Crate can also act as a good tactical jump up. Here, you'll find a lot of encounters where you'll have some cool shootouts in between the windows, but watch out, there's a death pit below you. Over here, just some sticky grenades behind the red spawn. And then, you'll see this balcony, which it's very nice because it allows for some very unique encounters here. Going downwards, we'll find the sniper rifle near the window under that Covenant crate. And this is also where many, many of your encounters will happen. I'd say 50% of your encounters happen here and in the other room where camo spawns. They're very high traffic areas and will lead to a lot of cool encounters. So, I mean, it's a very nice map. Plasma Launcher is going to spawn off to the left. So, I really hope you guys download and enjoy this map as much as we did. Because it was really just a great, great map. And it goes really well with our 4v4 maps. This second map is a 4v4 map of mine, which I like to call Arrogance. It's kind of themed similarly to two other 4v4 maps they've made, known as Benevolent and Malicious Intentions. You know, it said Malevolent there, just because they kind of go together. But this is a very nicely designed, nice, aesthetically pleasing map, and it takes place in a can in the canyon here, which allows for some nice terrain and uh, peace interactions. It's all outdoors, and you've got two of these kind of nests over here, and it all comes out for some very nice gameplay. Now I wanted to focus this map around DMR fights, so you're gonna there aren't too many power weapons on the map. You're only gonna find one rocket and a custom power-up which will spawn in the center. Now, the custom power-up is very interesting because what it does, what this map is designed for, is that the custom power-up will give you 175% um, movement speed and um, very high camo. So you're going to be invisible and running pretty fast, so it makes, you, it makes you a pretty deadly force. Up here is the teleporter receiver. Earlier you saw the sender node which spawns over at the end. So you can see it, but not really. So you'll be kind of aware what's going on, but not totally. Up there is another aesthetic piece, which is kind of an anvil on top. Uh, of course, this map is yellow. Every map I make that's 4v4 is yellow, just because yellow is cool. There's the custom power-up. You'll see spawns right there, which the red team seemed to pick up. But unfortunately, it didn't last them too long. The DMR fights are very nice. The uh, gameplay it kind of shifts throughout the areas, and it ends up being very nice. Uh, I was really inspired by this map by the maps that kind of have a very circular flow, which just does. As you'll see, the terrain kind of goes around the one central block under bridges and such, which is a very nice idea, I think. It's also a very fun map to play on if you want to have some good DMR fights. You, maybe you want to DMR somebody, this is a good map with some long to short range, mid range DMR fights to go on. And now we're going to learn how to make an invisible barrier door. Okay, well, here you can see I've built a little house here. 
So uh, I'm going to show you what I've done with this house. Uh, it's a very crude looking house, I guess, but here is a door, and it's wide open. Who would do that? I don't know. But look, you, you can't walk through. As you can see, I'm clearly walking, but uh, you can't get through it. This could be very useful for any sort of infection map or whatever you want to do. And uh, it's simply done by using four struts. And uh, what, what you want to do with this is you want to take these struts, and you want to take it just so they come up and they come like this. And then you want to grab two on the other side, and you want to put them together so the silver part here, right before it gets to the kind of color-coded part, is uh, touching there. And then you'll have this um, pretty fair-sized hole that you cannot go through. I mean, maybe this could be in the ground or something like that. Uh, you, it's up to you, and you can incorporate this however you like. There's a lot of freedom in it, so it's pretty cool. All right, this map is made by Flamefist Boyd. He made a variety of really cool looking cars and trucks and stuff. Um, kind of a disappointment because we didn't get too many submissions this week. We'd really like to get some more and I think this week's submission is going to be very interesting. And on that subject, this week's submission is going to be a Halo vehicle not in Halo Reach. Uh, I prefer something from Halo Wars, like maybe a Locust, a Vulture, something really cool like that. But the theme for next week is a Halo vehicle. And also, congratulations to you, Flamefist Boyd. Our featured forger this week is Mexican Tortoise 7. He makes some really fantastic, amazing um, invasion maps, and you can see all of his maps here, which uh, don't, they're not just an invasion, so you can download his maps and uh, see what tickles your fancy. This clip uh, was actually for me, and it came in a while ago. I went to assassinate this elite, and he's on top of me, and somehow I kill him. Hmm. I don't know what happened there. But, listen to him. So cute. Anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.